So, you've just repaired a circuit board, and now you need to decide whether or not to clean it. It isn't always necessary to remove flux residue if the electronic device isn't critical and doesn't have to run for decades, you may decide to use no clean flux and leave it on the board. As long as all the flux is brought up to soldering temperature and fully activated, you should be fine. If the aesthetics of the PCB is important to you, you might decide to clean the clear residues left from no clean flux. For mission critical electronics, like in medical devices or aircraft, you will probably be cleaning regardless of the type of flux. When you use R, RA, RMA, or aqueous fluxes, you really need to clean your circuit boards after soldering. This is because they leave ionic residue. When moisture from the air and current is introduced, dendrites can form. Dendrites are conductive branches that grow between contacts and leads. They cause current leakage, or even a short circuit. Flux residues can also absorb moisture from the air and encourage oxidation on metal surfaces, like contacts and leads. If you plan to cover the final circuit board with a protective conformal coating, it's even more important to clean your PCB, regardless of the type of flux. Just like when you paint something, you need a clean surface so the paint sticks. Otherwise, the coating can peel off or delaminate. So, to achieve the highest reliability for your electronics, Chemtronics offers a wide variety of flux off, flux removers. Contact us and we can help you find the best flux remover for your requirements.